Oregon State Representative accused of sexual harassment at the Capitol is facing expulsion. A House committee voted this afternoon to recommend Representative Diego Hernandez be expelled. No Oregon lawmaker has ever been expelled from the state legislature. Fox Bell Sammy Gutierrez has been following the story. This was a vote by the four-member House Committee on Conduct, which had been taking testimony and reviewing the allegations against Hernandez this week. The recommendation for expulsion now goes to the full House for a floor vote. The allegations against Hernandez are detailed in a report put together by an outside law firm, which was commissioned by the Legislative Equity Office to investigate reports about his conduct. That report found that three women who worked at the state capitol and had been in a romantic relationship with Hernandez later felt uncomfortable continuing to work there after the relationship ended, accusing Hernandez of continued advances and inappropriate behavior. The women who came forward and shared their stories are courageous and brave. Let me be very clear, if this were any other workplace, Representative Hernandez would have already been shown the door. According to the report, one woman said Hernandez sent gifts, left flowers, and even showed up at her apartment unannounced. A second woman identified in the report as an elected official said Hernandez was physically, verbally, and mentally abusive during their relationship and that she has felt uncomfortable working at the Capitol since it ended. Another said Hernandez threatened her professional position and refused to engage with her professionally after their relationship ended. Investigators were unable to substantiate claims from two other people. To all of the subjects, I am sorry for the harm that a member of this body has call, call, has done to you. Um, and I'm sorry for any additional trauma that this process has caused you. We reached out to Representative Hernandez for a comment and heard back from his attorney. He shared a letter he sent to the House Conduct Committee arguing the committee's investigation hasn't followed the due process of law and failed to consider evidence Hernandez has presented in his defense. Lawmakers today said the decision to recommend expulsion was a difficult one. At least from, from where I sit, it appears that we have a repeated instance of sexual harassment and a repeated instances of workplace harassment um, and un unwelcome conduct that is not just a one-time offense, but, is, but has happened over a long period of time and many times. It will take a two-thirds majority vote by the House to expel Hernandez. This is, of course, the second high-profile sexual harassment investigation at the Capitol in the past couple of years. If you recall, Senator Jeff Cruz resigned from his Senate seat back in 2018 after allegations surfaced against him. I'm Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Oregon.